Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyway, today's video is about how you can train your own DeepSeek R1-like model. Yes, today I'll be telling you how to train any model to behave like DeepSeek R1, which means that it can not only reason, but also reason in a similar way to how DeepSeek trained their R1 model to reason and you can do all this for free. So, people from Unsloth, which is a really great fine-tuning framework, have shared a blog post and a collab notebook that show how we can train any model in a similar way to DeepSeek's R1 and make it perform similarly. If you've read the DeepSeek R1 research paper, then you'll know that they used GRPO, which is a kind of reinforcement learning in which we reward a model when it generates a correct answer. If it doesn't, we give it negative marking instead, and it just keeps doing trial and error until it arrives at a correct answer, in which case it is given a good score. This is a simple kind of reinforcement learning, but in GRPO, we have a group of models that do this, and then each model can look at another model's score, and if it is higher, that model can learn from the other, possibly discovering beneficial patterns and increasing its score. That's a very generic way of understanding how it works. So, Unsloth here has replicated this same process, but they have made it take up 80% less VRAM than Hugging Face's counterpart. So, that's great. They say that this allows you to reproduce R1, Zero's aha moment on just 7 gigs of VRAM using the Quen 2.51.5b variant. Some more cool stuff here is that they were able to get 20x more throughput and 50% VRAM savings with VLLM. They say that you can now use VLLM directly in your fine-tuning stack, which allows for much more throughput and lets you fine-tune and perform inference on the model at the same time. You get about 4,000 tokens on an A100, which is pretty great. They have also magically removed double memory usage when loading VLLM and Unsloth together, allowing for savings of about 5 GB for Llama 3.18B and 3 GB for Llama 3.23B. They say that Unsloth could originally fine-tune Llama 3.370B instruct on 148 GB GPU, with Llama 3.370B weights taking 40 GB of VRAM. If they hadn't removed the double memory usage, then we'd need more than 80 GB of VRAM when loading Unsloth and VLLM together. They have shared the notebooks for how to train it on Llama 3.154 and Quen 2.53B as well. They have shown some examples of how they were able to train Phi-4 and make it reason through steps, helping it perform even better than before. Now, let me show you how you can do it for yourself with their Google Colab notebook and train your own DeepSeek R1 model. You can also use Lightning AI if you prefer. I also prefer Lightning AI. So, you can just download it and then run it there by importing the notebook. For now, I'll be using Colab, as that's more widely used. Anyway, first of all, you can just open up the notebook for the model you want to train, or you can also train another model by changing some parameters. Anyway, I have this Phi4 notebook here, and I have run it once, because it takes a lot of time to train. But it's free, and can run on the T4 GPU that you get for free with Colab. It takes about six, seven hours to train Phi-4, but the smaller models will take less time. Now, all you have to do after connecting the model to a GPU is to go to runtime and hit the Run All button, and the notebook will start training. Let me just quickly show you what outputs you will get here. This is the first block, which is installation and it doesn't output anything as such. Then we load up some libraries, 
and then we load our model to train. Here we are using Phi4, so it's written here. You can also change the model to something else. For example, if you want to train the Mistral Small 2 model with reasoning, then you can change the model name here, and the name should be based on the Hugging Face model page. Anyway, you can basically train any model that has a supported architecture. So, that's great for adding reasoning to any model. Next, we load up the data. The data is just the GSM 8K dataset, and here we are asking the model to always output in this format, just like DeepSeek. Then we also create a reward function, and then we just run it. And you can see it being trained as it tries to figure out how to perform correct reasoning and everything like that. Once done, we can just run the model with a question like this, and then you can see how it tries to reason through and give us the answer here. After this, we can convert it to float 16, and then it will become VLLM compatible. After that, we push it to Hugging Face. Also, you'll need to add your Hugging Face token in the Secrets Environment variable here as well for the push to work. Now, to make it compatible with Olima, you'll need to run this block, which will create a quantized version that will then get pushed to Hugging Face as well which you can then run with Olima and use as you want. That's basically how you can train any model with reasoning that is just like DeepSeek R1. You can also change the code to perhaps train it on your own dataset. You can also train on a different format by changing the system prompt here, which will help you create even more customized outputs to your liking. Let me know if you guys want a video where I explain how to fine-tune the DeepSeek distilled models on your own data for free as well. Such cool stuff is really great to have a peek inside how models are trained and how you can even train a model that is customized exactly to your liking, all without even paying a cent. All it takes is a little effort, and that's all. The T4 GPU works well, but you can also use another GPU on Lightning AI. For example, I think the L40 will work well because it has higher GPU memory, which will be beneficial in this case. It's great to see the open source community coming up with such great options. Just think how much good stuff we could have gotten if OpenAI were actually open. But I digress. This is super great, so try it out for yourself. Overall, it's pretty cool. Please hit the subscribe and like buttons, and also comment your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.